Do you want some food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to go feed them. How was that? Was that awesome? Was that good? Hi, Keeks. Jake and I are going to go to brunch, uh, I think with his manager. I'll just go kick it. But uh, I'll be back and then we're going to go on a walk, okay? Yeah, just leave, Jake. Huh? <laughs> well, if it makes you wonder, I got I to gotta drink some coffee, so. No, I guess I slept okay. I still haven't drank my entire coffee, so what I just said made no sense. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? We're gonna the same thing we do every day. Play FIFA. Drink coffee and play oh. FIFA. That was a reference to Pinky and the Brain, if you guys remember that show. My morning started out pretty terribly. I had a voicemail from the IRS that said, we have been trying to reach you. We are filing a case against you. Please call us back. I was like, sweet, that was the first 10 seconds to my day. That was the nicest phone call I've ever, ever received. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I called the right people who said that that is a scam. The IRS does not call people. They send letters because that's, that's what they do. Uh, as for the rest of the morning, Jake and I are going to head to a place called Fat Sal's, which I believe, I'm not sure, is co-owned or owned by... The actor who plays Turtle from Entourage, if you remember him. I was a big fan of that show until I realized it was Sex in the City for dudes. I felt cheap it. I like Sex in the City too. I mean, <laughs> you kind of get forced into watching it when that's what you, you have a wife, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the, because your <laughs> wife made you. Watch yeah, so totally. that's, well, that's exactly why I watch Sex in the City. I have seen Sex in the City too. It was just like on, uh, what, like one of those. Too? Yeah, yeah, one? yeah. It was just, it came on next and I was like, oh, whatever. I liked it okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let's go, let's go have brunch. Looks pretty good. I'll let you guys, um, nothing on here looks healthy. And I mean nothing. I think that's the point of fat sales. I'd just like to apologize to everybody for what's about to happen inside your body later on in life, you know? That looks amazing. Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, whoa. I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Home of the Capitol Records building. They say that was the glory days of music, Jake, and we're too late to the party. That's when people were buying records. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember buying records? Oh my God, so far now on right. iTunes, Black and Lines now on iTunes. Those were the glory days, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna buy a record nowadays, don't buy Justin Bieber, don't buy your What's her name? Taylor Swift? Whatever her name is. If you're gonna buy music, you need to buy something like Mayday Parade and We The Kings. That's Support your real bands. Yeah. yeah. Why do we have southern accents? I don't know, Danny. When you work <laughs> at Capitol Records, this is how you talk. That's how we talk here in Omaha, Nebraska. Where are we off to now, by the way? We're going to Griffith, Griffith Observatory. What's Griffith? I don't know. I'm, uh, I need more coffee. <laughs> The Griffith. Gr <laughs> <laughs> You're sure? It's, uh, it's hard. The Griffith. The Griffith Observatory, Observatory is uh, somewhere that I always hear about and I've never been. And you guys know that I've been to LA pretty close to a million times. But um, I think today's the day I'm going to go check it out. She's got some cool little knickknacks in there. It's something you got to do when you come here. So I'll like, do it because I'm in. Space. Space shit. Space, <laughs> space shit. I want a shirt that says that. Spaceship. It's just a galaxy and it just says <laughs> spaceship. Spaceship. Yeah. I'd buy it. Mmm, look at that view. So ugly. Oh, Jeez, wow. somebody should water these plants. <laughs> this is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Welcome to the California drought. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is nice. It's got its own nice little desert vibe. Although, uh, this is why I live here actually. This right here? Yeah, just for just not for the observatory, but the just it's pretty. This reminds me of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Did you ever see that movie? Hold your breath, dude. Hold your breath. <laughs> Hold your breath. Turn right onto East Observatory Road. Huh? And go this way. Alright, so the closest parking spot we can get. This way over here, and we're trying to go there. We'll just enjoy the view. Yeah, I can't walk on the dirt. My white shoes, so. Your white shoes are nice. My white shoes went through Warp Tour. <laughs> Dude, this is gorgeous. 
uh, I'm not a wuss, and I'm not that, that out of shape. This stuff, look at this. It's <laughs> going so fast. There's a speed limit, sir. <laughs> it's like crazy. The incline intensity. I can't wait to get there. There it is. The Taj Mahal. Jake, I found it. That's mine. Jake, I found the orbit of Uranus. That's right. There. Right there. <laughs> I find it kind of weird that they have a direct TV satellite uh, on like one of the world's largest telescopes. <laughs> we can't go inside until Jake finishes his coffee. So, take your time. I don't drink too oh fast. Oh my god, this is gonna make me have to poop so bad. <laughs> you guys know. Don't even act like you're like. He said that. <laughs> he said that. It makes you poop like coffee. Yes, we know. Look at that. Look at this. I've never seen a hummingbird in person. That's amazing. You know how this is true. Fuck like crazy. They're in our yard, Danny. They're in your yard? Yeah. If you guys want to see hummingbirds, go to 1233 West. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sure somebody uh, who is a lot smarter than me can explain what's going on here in the comments section, so scroll down and read that. I have no idea this is going to be like some giant science center. This is so awesome. This is... <laughs> well, that was like a telescope and you just go read a plaque about the telescope and that's it. I didn't know there was a McDonald's play place in here. <laughs> wow. They actually let you move the telescope. That's the telescope, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe not all the buttons work. <laughs> What'd you do? I didn't do anything. That's all you, man. All right, guys. Now a really exciting moment you've been waiting for. We're gonna get a live look at the telescope and what it sees right now. <laughs> I love that you can see our reflection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see us right here going. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are getting sick of these views, but I am not. This is absolutely beautiful. And of course, goes without saying that this camera is doing its best to capture it, but this is so cool in person. Jake, get off your phone. It's such a beautiful view. I live here, dude. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Saint it. Saint it. We're looking for the station where you can weigh yourself on different planets. I'll refrain from making a joke that I want to see how much I weigh on your anus. Just get that out of the way now. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Oh, for instance, this is how much I would weigh on your anus. This is pounds. 140 pounds. Oh my gosh, jeez, dude. <laughs> We should have ate it that size. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune, you're next. Me? No. Pluto and beyond. <laughs> I want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be eight pounds? Yeah. <laughs> We're curious how much we weigh on Earth, and I feel like they could just put like a scale from Walmart right there, just slide it in. How much do you weigh on Earth, Jake? Uh, unless the check was around 180 something. Almost a 200. Dude, you can play football. Somebody's got to work out. No more drinking. <laughs> All right, let's see here. On Earth, Danny Duncan weighs about 160 pounds. Dripping wet. That's it. That's all I weigh. 160. <laughs> Do this. What the? Everything all right? I got it, I got it. Yeah. I want to, I can do this. Dad. I can do this. Dad. Everybody knows this is the famous moment when Einstein could not get that booger off his finger. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd laugh, Jake. 
Oh, yeah, that's funny. We don't belong in here. This is actually really cool and very relevant to California. It's a seismograph. <laughs> I'm doing it. It is. It's measuring the vibrations of the ground. So, like when they have an earthquake, this is how they tell, like the Richter. All right, Jake, just stop jumping. I mean, not to brag, but my seismograph needle was bigger than your seismograph needle. Oh, you want to go right now? Are we doing this? All right, see if you can get see if you can get him to look like that. <laughs> I think it's more of a consistent like. <laughs> it's dude, no, you had the littlest ones. We're not doing the right <laughs> spot. Dude, look at that! I just got power. I'm an athlete. You're doing it. Just, yeah, it's got to be like right here where this thing is. Oh. Mm -hmm. How do we turn everything into a competition? It's a seismograph. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but on Pluto, I weigh eight pounds. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to get out of here. Thank you, Griffith Observatory. You've been fantastic. Oh, what a day, what a day. That was fun. I don't know why I've never been to that Griffith, Griffith Observatory, but it was absolutely amazing, and I'm really bummed that I haven't been sooner. Also, I asked you guys yesterday, what are some TV shows that I should be watching since I'm going to be having some free time coming up here in a little bit, and a lot of you suggested Stranger Things, which is very cool. Uh, a, I have already started watching it. I love it, and B, we all know somebody in that show. If you remember, uh, we were hanging out with Chelsea a while ago when I was in Orlando, and my friend Andrea was there. Uh, Chelsea is Andrea's friend. She was in that show. She's this girl right here. That one. <laughs> Hello there, my friends. I'm Cindy Lou Who. Stop, stop. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm very, very proud of her, very stoked. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool that uh, we all get to see her in her true form. She's an absolutely amazing person, very lovely, very sprightly, and I'm so happy for all her success on that show. But I think from there, I'm going to head to bed. I really do appreciate you guys watching the vlogs. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.